Cody and Darby Allen had a hell of a match. This was probably the best match on the show for me. Um, these guys went out there and had a 20-time limit draw, which AEW is bringing back. Now, I know Ring of Honor does it. I think Impact might do it. Um, a lot of companies do it except for WWE, so it's not just AEW. But I'm glad they utilized it here because now it puts in place that the time limits actually mean something. That the matches could end in a draw if they want them to, which I think is really cool. It's a logical finish. It protects Darby Allen. It was actually the current NDW Heavyweight Champion, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, he didn't come out with a belt here, but I'm glad he didn't lose. I'm glad Cody didn't lose. Coming off that match with Dustin, double or nothing, he's facing the Young Bucks with Dustin at Fight for the Fallen uh, in a couple weeks next Sunday. So he shouldn't have lost here either. I thought this was very well done. The actual match was fantastic. Now, the post-match stuff, I feel like that'll be remembered more. At least, I, I fear that it will be. That'll be remembered more than the match itself and Darby Allen's performance here. Um, but it shouldn't be because the match was so excellent. Now, the post-match stuff, I love the idea of a Cody and Sean Spears feud. They've had history now for, for years, dating back to WWE's developmental territory. Um, Cody called Spears a great hand at a recent press conference or in an interview, whatever. And Sean Spears, according to his Twitter, kind of held on to that. So he's going to use that to his advantage and use that as a motivation for going heel on Cody. I think that's great. The only thing I didn't like about this was the fact, not even that he used a chair, but the fact that he hit him in the head. Now, people may be freaking out about this, but like in the way that people may be saying, oh, why are you worried so much about the performer's health? Like, that's their issue. It's his head. What a dumb thing to say. Such a stupid thing to say. They should ban chair shots to the head for all the shit that WWE gets. This is not among them. I think they did a great job. They were very smart to do what they did in banning chair shots to the head. Um, they're just not necessary. They were not necessary. They are a detriment to the health of the performers. And I'm, I'm glad they're done away with in WWE. Now, the Young Bucks tried to defend the spot, and they were kind of talking down to the reporter, at least in my opinion, from what I saw in the interview, the, the video, whatever. Like, oh, of, of course it was gimmicked. Like, you think we go out there and do that? Like, no, you fucking idiot. It wasn't gimmicked. Like, I understand what they're saying. Like, his head was supposed to have a certain part of the chair where it either wouldn't hurt or bust him open. Clearly, him getting busted open was not part of the plan. No shit. But just don't do it anyway. Yeah, it was a different story 20 years ago when they did it relentlessly in the Rock and Mankind match, which even now, if you go back and watch, is honestly uncomfortable to see, knowing what we do now about concussions and even Mick Foley's own health. I just think it was really dumb to have done that. And it's still stupid 20 years later. So I don't want to hear... I mean, I guess if, if, you're, if you didn't mind it, that's one thing. If you're defending Cody over it or Sean Spears, whoever ideas it was, probably Cody's, to be honest with you, if, you know. If what we've seen from him is, is any indication, he's a very smart guy, but when it comes to stuff like this and pushing the envelope and stuff like that, I'd rather they didn't. There's other ways of doing that without putting the health of the performers in jeopardy. Now, I know it was himself, but still, I just thought that was really fucking stupid. It looked like an ugly-ass spot. Um, it didn't sound great at all, and I know it put heat on Sean, and that's awesome, but again, there's other ways of doing that than what they did here. Um, I just think it makes AEW come off really poorly if they're going to, oh, we're going to do what WWE wouldn't. And that's great, but when it comes to stuff like this, I'd rather they stuck with it. I'd rather they stick to what WWE does and not do the same shit that has hurt the health of the performers for a long time now. But other than that, the match itself was great, like I said.